This is a tutorial about how to use Kaltura Capture to record a voiceover PowerPoint and then link that video, PowerPoint video, into your Blackboard course. This is what it looks like as a final product. Hello everyone, this is a demonstration of how to use Kaltura to record a voiceover PowerPoint, then upload that to your Blackboard course. This, as you can see, there's a title for that video, the video, and then that's the, um, the guiding questions if you decide to add on. And there's a little like search bar. Um, the search bar enables the students to do a keyword search. So if you're talking about business law and you're talking about agency, uh, students can type in agency and do a quick keyword search throughout the video. Now let's walk you through the first step, which is to use Kaltura to record the video. In order to use Kaltura to record the video, you first need to download the Kaltura software. First, go to Faculty Resource, My Media, and under here is your media bank. So if you're new to Kaltura, uh, you will have an empty list here. So the way that you create it is add new and personal capture. Basically what we're doing is we're not recording anything, we're just downloading the software. So if it's your first time, so all we need to do is first to download it and uh, Mac, so I'm going to download it for Mac. open it. So these steps are very straightforward. Um, it's very well guided and you will see this. Okay, so it's popping up. That means it's downloaded. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and close that window. The second step is to actually use Kaltura to record your PowerPoint. So let's go launch the Kaltura again. Go to faculty resource my media, add new, personal capture, click I agree. Because you have already downloaded it, it's going to pop up. Just open. Open. Cool. So as you can see, this is like the control panel for Kaltura. The red button means start recording. The screen means turn on or turn off screen cam. That means if it's blue, it's recording your screen. And if it's gray, it's not recording the screen. This is for a webcam. So when it's gray, it's not turning on the webcam. Therefore, it's not recording the webcam. When blue, it's recording your webcam, so you can kind of put your face there together with your PowerPoint or you can kind of turn it off. Uh, mo in most cases, we basically just turn off the, ca the, the video camera here. The audio is very important. The audio records everything. So we have to make sure at least the screen is in blue, the audio is in blue. So we went ahead and opened a PowerPoint and you probably noticed that the control panel disappeared. Uh, but don't worry, um, go to your control dashboard or control ribbon. Um, usually at the bottom of your computer where all the beautiful icon locates, find the Kaltura capture icon, click on it, it will open. So yeah, it will disappear from time to time, just go to your um, control ribbon for your operating system and open a click on Kaltura Capture, it will automatically um, pop up. Then, before we start recording, let's find, um, let's define the recording area by going into um, screen and there's a little window here and you select select area. Our goal here is to only select the slide that we are presenting and not everything else. So we go here. We first start with the biggest, 
2080 to uh, 10 something. So now we need to um, drag it. You see these little three corners here? So we need to just like drag them to that slide. Okay, that looks pretty good. As you can see, there's a little red line on the outside and that shows like everything else is not recorded, only the things inside of the red line is recorded. So now let's start recording it. So we hit the red button here. Okay, it's counting down. And you notice that the time starts to count on, so that means it's in process, it's in recording. So everything that you say um, is recorded. So here is a little demonstration of how to use Kaltura to record voice over PowerPoint. As you can see, this is my first slide. This is my second slide. As you can see, there are different colors and it's talking about different things. So this will cover the majority of the content we're gonna go over for this session. This is another one. And if you wanted to take a break, you can say pause and just take a break. And then come back. When you come back, you click resume recording. Now I'm back. I'm just resuming my recording here. And if you wanted to stop, I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. And we're like 15 to 10 minutes. Um, and we're good. let's stop. And it will ask you whether you want to stop. Yes, yeah, stop it. And then you can play a little preview here. And you notice that the time starts to count on. So that means it's in process. It's in recording. So everything that you say. Okay, that looks pretty good. So here, the best practice here is to spell out your descriptions in details. For example, usually PowerPoint video. Chapter 23 to 12, how to create voice over PowerPoint, right? Description, it is a short tutorial about, about. The reason behind a detailed title is that if you are recording a lot of videos for different chapters, for different courses, you may have chapter 23 for three different courses, and you said CH23 rather than spelling it out, by the time that you need to link that particular video to your course on Blackboard, you may get lost. You're like, okay, which video did I mean when I typed in this short shorthand descriptions? So it's always good to spell things out, especially for the titles. Um, it will save you a lot of time down the road. And once it's ready, save and upload. And as you can see, um, this is a little bar going to come. It's showing you how uh, fast it's uploading. Cool. A, a best practice here is keep the video within 10 to 15 minutes. It will make your recording easier. Um, it will also um, save you a lot of time while you're uploading. And it will also help your learners to... Uh, better manage their time if they only have 15 minutes of their day to spare and you happen to have a 15 minute long video it's just easier for them to consume that way all right now let's um, link that video to your particular course okay so let's go to blackboard go to your course Say I wanted to add that video to my week one content. So we go to week one and I go to build content and I go to mashups. There's a Kaltura Media. So let's click on Kaltura Media. So you notice that this video we just uh, recorded are here. So all we need to do is just to select it. And yeah, the title, see, we have already spelled out everything here. So just copy and paste. Voila, quick. And then you can say, while watching this video, think about the following Right. 
So having this little short question helps them to um, orient on the most important and core messages of your PowerPoint videos. Again, it's helping the learners to mostly leverage their time effectively. Submit. This is linked here. And let's go to student view. Okay, so yeah, so as you can see, um, the way that we built this unit is using the learning module. The learning module enables students to navigate uh, content on through like a side index bar. Um, but if you're using something else, some other structures by just building items, that's fine. So it does not matter. So now let's see what it looks like. And you notice that the time starts to count on. So that means it's in process, it's in recording. So everything that you say um, is recorded. So here is a little demo about how to use Power. Yeah, so this completes the tutorial about how to use Kaltura to record a voice over PowerPoint.